Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, welcome okay. back. Man, sebenarnya I ada yeah. surprise untuk you hari ini. Serius, Ali. Uh, I Zara nak serius-serius dengan you, tapi I ada surprise untuk you. Uh, sebenarnya Winter Olympic ni, okay. I nak bawakan uh, seorang bunga yang baru je pulang from the Serious, painting. Lali. Ah, ini Malaysia the... punya sweetheart sekarang yes, ni. Yes, saya menghabiskan saingan Olimpik ni di sana. So, kita nak bawakan khas untuk you, Matt. Dekat saya lah untuk Malaysia untuk sebenarnya. Untuk semualah ah. yang tengah tengok kontingen negara kita. Siapa lagi kalau bukan Arwin Salehuddin yang akan bersama kita. Hi, Arwin. Hello. Hi. Arwin. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay, Matt, we're jangan, jangan, no. jangan tiba -tiba. Tak, 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 tak. We're awesome now that you're here on Nadi Weekend, Arin. So, where in the world are you at the moment right now? Are you back in Malaysia? No, I'm back in Croatia, in Rijeka, Croatia now. Oh, so you're based, you're based there? Yes, yes. My coach lives here, so I'm back here for a three-day break, and then I go train in Italy after. Oh, so Arin, when was when was the last time uh, you were back home in Malaysia? Well, because of COVID, it's been three years now, so I miss all of my relatives back oh, there. No. Please say hi to your relatives <laughs> at, uh, hi, at home. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hi, Grandpa. I miss you all. Sedih. Tiga tahun tak boleh kampung ni. Tiga tahun tak boleh kampung, Matt. Ingat kejap-kejap je. Okay, Arwin, maybe first of all, you can share with us uh, how was your experience first time competing in the, the Olympic? Well, it was it was absolutely incredible. It was amazing. Um, everything ran quite smoothly, and everyone was so kind. Especially the Malaysian NOC assistants. Thank you to them. They were very very kind to me, and because they showed me around the village and everything, and so because of them, I especially had a very good time. <laughs> yep, Arwin, uh, how would you describe going against the best in the world at the um, Winter Olympics? Wow, it was absolutely an incredible experience. It was so cool to run on the same course as them. Um, you know, it's always been a dream to do something like that. So finally being able to be on the same course as Petra Vlova, even Michaela Schifrin and everyone, it was so amazing. Like I was so excited and so happy. <laughs> yeah, we can see that and we can feel the atmosphere even here from our cultures. You really like this, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, I like super glue with all the Okay, Arwin, um, maybe in what area that you feel you can improve and uh, what the support should be um, yeah. from the relevant, uh, you know, relevant sites, bodies, yeah, bodies yeah. here? Yes, well, in terms of support, um, I'm really looking for financial support right now um, for the past. Uh, well, since I've been started ski racing, actually, it's always been my mom who's been working very hard to support me um, in terms of money. So, you know, all of like airplane tickets and equipment and coaching fees and everything, like it's all parent done, <laughs> parent sponsored. So um, I'm looking for that, actually. <laughs> Yeah, Arwin, uh, you're our youngest ever athlete at the um, Winter Olympics. So I, I know it's still early, but are you hungry to feature in the next Winter Olympics? I mean, what's your next plan if you can share with us? Yes, I am looking towards the next Olympics in Milano Cortina. Um, inshallah, if I am healthy and without injury, I will be doing that one. Um, and as of right now, my next goal is actually in March. Um, and it is the 2022 World Junior Championships and it's going to be in Panorama, British Columbia, Canada. So I'm hoping to make a good result there. Um, and basically Junior Worlds is like um, girls ages from 16 to 21 and best around the world. So I'll be competing with some really strong girls and I'm really excited to do so. Oh, okay. tak lama lagi tu lih. Bulan tiga tak lama lagi dah tu. Lagi. But Arwin, do you think Malaysia have talents that can can excel in Winter Olympic? Of course, yeah. I mean, we have so many Lee. Winter <laughs> Olympics, and I know there are people already working at it. I know we have Nordic, we have bobsledge and skeleton and figure skaters, and I think we have speed skaters as well. And of course, there is always room to grow there. And in ski racing, I mean, of course, there are, I believe, Malaysians around the world um, who can train 
in Europe, USA, or wherever there is snow. And if there's all possibility, I think there's chances to grow there as well. <laughs> Yep, Arwin, uh, I please said, I mean, of course, to all the little boys and the little girls who watch you during the Winter Olympics, who who who, may, who have uh, who has that same dream as you, what do you say to them? Honestly, stay positive as possible. Posi um, positivity is really one of the best traits to have um, when you're a competitor and an athlete, um, because being an athlete, you'll always go through really tough times. Um, things can get rough, injury can happen, your training can come to a halt because of such as the pandemic. Um, but if you're always staying positive and grateful for what you're able to have, then it will make it a lot easier to get through all of that. Mm. All right, Arwin, how do you say uh, thank you in Croatian? <laughs> Oh, Vala! Vala! Vala, Arwin! Thank you, Arwin, take care! All the best for your next tournament!